Hey everyone, we're doing a video tutorial today on the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3.5 Publish Services feature. So I'm in the, the library module and you can pick a series of photos that you may want to share with different services. So Facebook, uh, Flickr, Picasa, Smogbug. These are the ones that come delivered with uh, with Lightroom itself. You can download free ones off the web to other different sites, uh, you, such as automatically to Twitter, and just go search for them. There's all kinds of different ones out there that you can use. But I find the ones that are delivered with Photoshop are Photoshop Lightroom are the best ones anyway. So what you need to do first is set one of these up. So what you do is I already have one set up for Flickr, but what you do is edit it or create a new uh, photo set and I'm going to go into edit settings and show you what I did. You put on a description of what you want to call it. So this is my Flickr website. You have to authenticate to the website. It's a little bit annoying that it launches your default browser <clears throat> on Apple and it may not be the one that you actually use in Safari. So all you need to do is take that URL that it opens up in Safari and copy and paste it into another browser and you can authenticate that way. Anyway, so that's how you do that. You need to log in. It'll stay logged in when you use this here. And you can, how do you want to show your title, the file name, the IPTC title, or leave blank. I tend to like to leave it blank. Um, some other settings here that you, you make all these settings for each time you publish photos to this set. So you can rename files. You can set your quality controls. 60 to 80 is typically what I use. You can limit your file size. You need to tell it how big of photos do you want to send up to Flickr. Uh, because Lightroom stores these in raw files, it will convert it to, to a format readable by Flickr, which is a JPEG translation, basically. And the files could be huge. I'm mainly shooting with the Canon 5D Mark II, and it's 24 to 25, 22 to 24 megabyte uh, uh, file size. So you don't want to send that up each time for every photo. So I shrink it down to about 1500 pixels. I use a long edge, uh, different options there. Uh, when you shrink photos down from their full size, they can lose some of their sharpness. So I bump up the sharpness for the screen, a standard amount, uh, some other metadata questions. You can watermark it if you want to. Then you have the option of, do you want to share with the general public? Do you want, uh, or selected, uh, type of users on Flickr, then you can do the Flickr settings of safe, moderate, restricted. Let's go with safe and then you tell what type of uh, item it is. So it's a photo rather than a screenshot. I'm going to save that and then I'm back in my all photos section and I'm going to pick the photos that I want to send to Flickr. This is just a demo database here. So I'm going to send up some a picture of a backpack and a picture of a knife edge that I, I like to I collect knives so it's a picture of that you highlight your pictures that you want <clears throat> and you can just drag them over to the photo stream right here you see the quantity incremented to two there and you can it says here new photos to publish you can do last minute changes to the photos if you if you want here and bump up some exposure there I can do some auto correction there and what else so last minute changes enable profile correction and I can go back to the library view and if I'm done I hit publish so you can see up here updating photo stream it's being loaded to Flickr right now it's doing a little bit of conversion and being uploaded so we'll see how fast my uh, computer is today I think I'm I'm uploading a YouTube video at the same time so we're gonna be uh, waiting so that's the uh, publish services method here you can add additional Flickr I'm, just, I'm using Flickr as an example, but you can create an additional photo set for Flickr. 
and that means that maybe I only want to share certain photos with friends or I want my photos to a certain type of photos to maybe have a restricted setting you can set up multiple Flickr publish services maybe even want some going to a specific um, oh, uh, different types of photos right so keyworded in a certain way but you can you can set up multiple Flickr streams here and it's 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 pretty handy to uh, to do that same with the uh, smug mug and Facebook all of them have the same function so publish photos so these are done <clears throat> so I can go over to my browser open it up refresh and refresh and there they are so uploaded to Flickr slow browsing today <clears throat> and while I'm waiting for that to expand you also have the ability to delete the photo so I can delete the photo in my <clears throat> my published photo section and it says deleted photos deleted photos to remove kind of odd to say that I deleted the photo now it's time to remove it I guess that's what that's saying <clears throat> you publish it again even though you're just doing a delete function and this one should be be still there what Try right, one more time. Oh, sorry, folks. Completely confused. I deleted the backpack one. <clears throat> the backpack one is gone. <clears throat> My bad there. So yeah, so you, you, it'll do the delete transactions. It'll pull down comments from Flickr as well into Lightroom. I actually, don't <clears throat> use that feature too much. So it'll, see what I mean? It'll pull comments here. How many favorite counts? Um, it's interesting. So that is the Publish Services feature.